American power and influence are still the currency of the international order. But at present, we are at growing risk of the geopolitical equivalent of a bank run. People and governments, friends and adversaries alike, are coming to see America as weak, unreliable, and lacking credibility. And they are starting to suspect that America may longer have the will, the capacity, or both to meet its obligation as the underwriter of the world order. Many are panicking. Others are celebrating. Some say that we cannot afford to take a different course. I believe we can't afford not to, and the choice is up to us. The greatest limitations on America's role in the world today and in the future are not those of capacity, but rather of our resolve and imagination. For whether it is in Ukraine or Syria or the seas of Asia or elsewhere, there is a range of options at our disposal that can put greater force behind our diplomacy, restore the confidence of shaken allies, reestablish deterrence over our adversaries, and make our ideas reality. This will require us to do more and bear more burdens and accept more risk in the short term. And it will certainly require an honest conversation with the American people about what is at stake. But let no one suggest that we are without options. Let's be clear. The question we face is not whether America can maintain its preeminence and the world it sustains, but whether we will choose to do so.